Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays. But I do want to let you guys know in case you're interested, the deck that I'm using today is called the Ludi Lascott Tarot. And as always, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. Also, just to give you guys a little bit of insight as to how I shuffle my cards, uh, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I'm going to go ahead and take this card. Uh, however, I usually only take the cards that jump out of the deck. And sometimes when they jump out in groups that are too big, I'll go ahead and put them back in. But my main goal is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards. So it looks like we have your eight cards. And now we can get started. All right, Cancer. So I do just want to give you guys uh, a little reminder that if you enjoy the reading, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But your overall energy here is the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is all about indecision right the two of swords is symbolic of an indecision an impasse or just some kind of a stalemate so i'm thinking for a lot of you guys right now things are very difficult in the sense that every situation that you like every outcome that you can get out of this scenario has like a, a pro and a con list attached so there's like a win-win but there's also like an element of lose attached to it right does the so basically what I'm telling you here is that you're going to really need to look at what it is that you're choosing because now is the time not to take rash decisions. Now is the time to really look over things and double check and make sure that whatever it is that you're sort of signing up for is what you want. So especially now, I think that if you guys are looking at any kind of contracts, now is a great time to really read the fine print because you need to be really aware of what's going on around you because I'm looking at sort of these elements here and this full card in reverse makes me worry a little bit because the full card in reverse tells me that you guys are going to experience some kind of a setback, right? Because the full and the upright is all about new beginnings and fresh energy and things, you know, starting anew. So with that energy, I feel like there's going to be some kind of a setback, some kind of a delay. Um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing like a delayed flight. I don't know when you're watching this, but right now, currently, um, there really aren't any flights available because of this self-isolation period. But what I'm getting here for sure is that there's some kind of a movement. Because even if you look at these cards, there's a lot of movement Right, we have this Knight of Cups, which implies movement, as well as this Eight of Cups, which is leaving a situation and moving into a different one. And even in this Five of Pentacles, you can see people are walking away. But either way, with this Eight of Cups and with this Six of Swords in reverse, it's very interesting because in reality, both the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords talk about the same thing. They talk about moving, they talk about leaving a situation. But where they differ is that with the cups element attached to the eight, you have this element of like an emotional withdrawal. Whereas with the six of swords, you have this element of leaving a situation for calmer waters, right? So it feels like to me that you might be moving towards a new place or a new situation, but it might not necessarily be better. Right, I'm hearing that there's some kind of frustration going on here with this Fool in Reverse and this Eight of Cups. But with this Fool in Reverse and the Six of Swords in Reverse, I just, I don't know if it might actually be better for you to leave your situation right now. It's very difficult to say because for some of you, definitely it's better that you leave the situation. And for some of you, it's better to stay. But... In both cases, it's better to really think it through. Also, I looked at the timer on the video just now, and it was at 444, so I'm, if I remember correctly, the number four has to do with stability, so for some of you guys, that might be very important, but I highly suggest that you do some of your own research 
on angel numbers and synchronicities, especially if you've been seeing synchronicities of your own that are different from that number. But with this Fool card and this Page of Wands, it feels like there's going to be some kind of offer that's given to you, uh, some kind of possible movement, right? Because we have the Page of Wands, which to me feels like somebody who might actually be a con artist or a smooth talker, right? Because the pages tend to be very immature energy. And the wands tend to be very charismatic and passionate and sometimes even sexual. So it feels like this person is using perhaps some of those gifts for presentation and persuasion that they may have in a negative light. So be very careful of what people tell you. And I'm getting... Like, I'm hearing the phrase, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So make sure, like I was saying earlier with the Two of Swords, read all the fine print, especially when it comes to contracts or payments, because I feel like people might be trying to uh, swindle you or just kind of all around misrepresent something so that you think a certain thing about a situation when in reality it's something different. But that is actually compounded on because we have the moon card in reverse with the uh, knight of cups here so the knight of cups to me talks about some kind of an emotional message right and oftentimes that to me comes as a love offer um some kind of apology or just a heartfelt message in general and with the moon in reverse i'm feeling that for a lot of you guys things might be made more hidden or more obstructed Right, because the moon in the upright talks about things coming to clarity, right? Secrets, uh, the subconscious, things that are being made known to you, right? Light being shed on a topic. Uh, the moon card is also representative of the sign of Pisces. So for some of you guys, you might actually have Pisces in your chart, or you might be dealing with a Pisces, right? Uh, they're also a fellow water sign, so I feel like you feel a little bit identified with that kind of energy. But either way, I'm feeling that in this situation, it's like somebody offers you a false apology or some kind of kind of like a band-aid to perhaps make the situation better when in reality it doesn't. I feel like somebody's really trying to come in and fix everything and kind of give you a snake oil, you know, a cure-all, when in reality, the things that you need to know are being avoided with this moon card in reverse because I feel like the truth is going to cause a lot of conflict and is going to rock the boat a little bit and that's why it's this person whoever this nine of cups is is trying to kind of not let you know everything because they're afraid or worried that you might respond in a way that is very conflictive or uh, upset or reactionary in response to what they want to say right I'm getting it for some of you guys, this person might have done something that would make you mad at them, but I'm also seeing that the, for others of you, this person might be trying to cover up what somebody else did to you. And it feels very petty and it feels very like that's what she said, that he said, that she said kind of energy, right? So just like take it with a grain of salt, you know, try to hear it from the horse's mouth if you can, because I'm getting that there's going to be a lot of hearsay in your situation. And it, and it honestly just feels very petty and very gossipy. So a lot of you all together that all together might just say, I don't want to be involved in this like low vibrational energy and just move on, which I think is the best thing to do because it feels like once you kind of get involved into this energy, you're going to want to try to leave from it, but then it, it's going to like get its claws into you and it's going to drive you deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. Uh, but it, it just feels like you need to distance yourself from this energy in a way that is helpful to you. Because I'm getting that with this Fool card in reverse and with the Six of Swords in reverse, it might be very difficult to do just that, to leave the situation in a way that's helpful. Uh, some of you might be set aback if you leave the situation so move forward in a way that's strategic and that is beneficial to you because i'm seeing the star card here with the four or sorry the five of pentacles so i'm getting here that with the five of pentacles you're definitely leaving this energy of being left down the cold and i feel like for some of you guys that might mean that you're becoming more independent um perhaps from a partner or even financially but with this 
star card, I feel like that's what your goal is, is to sort of leave behind this hurt, this pain. And what I'm getting here is that you need to work towards your goal and do whatever it is, whatever it is that you need to do to get to that goal. Um, don't let anyone stand in your way or anything stand in your way because you're fully capable of reaching whatever your goal is. So Cancer, that was your reading first time around. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because I really enjoy knowing that these readings resonate with you. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for Cancer on Thursdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.